Yeah, people, welcome back to the coach's desk with your host, Coach Minzy. And we are here to talk football again. All right, so big up to the people who continue to support the movement. Really appreciate it. Overwhelming support. All right, let's get right into the meat of the matter that I want to discuss in this video. Okay, I want to talk about Javon Watson. Javon Watson. Because we have been getting preliminary reports, unconfirmed reports, that he will be going to Costa Rica. Say that again. Unconfirmed reports are that Javon Watson will be going to Costa Rica. Alright, so look at the series of events. He was named in the Gold Cup squad. Yeah. He actually was back in training in Jamaica. And he played a few games in the Jamaican Premier League. So a lot of speculation was, you know, swirling around where that is concerned. You know what I mean? A lot of people talk about him being in the, the Gold Cup Gold Cup squad to, to, to begin with, the 60 man provisional uh, list. Persons were, 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 were saying a lot of things. Alright, so we passed that. But then again, they saw him training. Yeah, man, and persons are saying that this man is a musician, he's committed to music. He would have uh, reached his peak in football already. He's about 37, going on to 38 years old now. So persons are saying that um, even when they did the, the whole situation with Anthony Grant and age comparison came up, persons mentioned Javon Watson. How come he was named in the provisional list when Anthony Grant is, is younger than him? You know what I mean? And uh, it one thing per, uh, people need to know is that age is a factor. You want to get players when they are at their peak. But I mean, age is 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 a is not really a factor when it comes on to players' quality, especially in a specific position. One one particular position is the goalkeeping position, where goalkeepers have a long uh, a longer lifespan than the ordinary outfield players. And you, if you can look at Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, the those persons have been taking care of themselves uh, so once you take care of yourself as an athlete uh, with a run jump or throw it is um, going to be a good look for you all right so back to the story Javon Watson was training in Jamaica play a few Premier League games like I said I got a video Yes, I got a video indicating that the man is at training. <laughs> Everybody probably see the video already, you know what I mean? Yeah, so the video is out of Javon Watson in training. And uh, I was having a conversation and his name came up. So it's, 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 it's now a few days that have been you know holding on to this information but you know we were, we were in the peak of games and match review and preview so I, I i didn't get the opportunity at that particular time to do a video so i now say it's the best time to do it you know we are going into costa rica with a team that is wounded the moral of the team is wounded two loss on the chart not a good look rooted at the, the, the foot of the table and especially in the middle of the park we are still having issues with that position so the game the game that we lost 3-0 it was quite clear that the midfielders were missing anthony grant played a very good game in the azteca closing down lanes um closing the, 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 the line of pass and all these things which I believe was good he, he, he protected the back four astutely you know what I mean and uh, he had a very good debut 
Now, another player that persons talk about and he doesn't get a lot of credit. And we have to, have to show respect to him. And that's Michael Hector. A lot of persons call for his head, you know, a lot of people. He's, he, 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 he wasn't selected and, and the masses were very excited. You know what I mean? Um, but I think one thing, if we had Michael Hector, he could have done the job where um, Anthony Grant would have uh, been able to do, disrupt play, positional. Um, he, he might not be able to. Uh, well, he can pass the ball good. He's a very good long ball passer. Um, but I think he would be able to do a job. Now, another CDM in Kevin Stewart was named. But on the look of things, he, he was injured. Yet he was named. So that limit the space. So we had only one out and out CDM. He played in Mexico. Played well, Anthony Grant. Did not play in the Jamaica game. Saving him for the Costa Rica game. Now, from what I've heard, people, is that Javon Watson will be playing a specific role because on, on, on the look of things, they don't want to, you know, allow Anthony Grant to play the full 90, which I do believe he can do because he plays week in, week out for his club. And the man do 90 minutes, yeah? And that man talk about the pride of putting on the shirt so i mean if him put a drop off if him long start to pulp that still wouldn't stop him from playing the 90 minutes yeah so i think it's about man management they want to preserve and the absence of kevin stewart the absence of other players like a michael Hector who can't travel to that red list area so Hence the reason they are contemplating, considering drafting in Javon Watson to play that position just to assist Anthony Grant in, in, in the role. So from what I'm hearing is that he will be playing like probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So Anthony Grant would start and then he will, you know, come on and there's a possibility depending on how Anthony Grant is playing. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's about going to Costa Rica, preserving player and try as best as possible to get a, a, a result that is positive. So I think though, if we go there one out and out defensive midfielder then we might be in trouble but i have no doubt that anthony grant can play the full 90. it's just a matter of the coach preserving him looking at his age and all these things hence he will not give um Aka a full game as well give him about 10 minutes to do a job to do a duty on the field so let's see how that one goes let's let's see if if the unconfirmed reports are true Let's see when the squad release if that is going to be the case. You know what I mean? I mean, um, a lot of people talking how bad the team played and yeah, it was a, 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 an abysmal performance. But we have to move forward and the solutions should be the order of the day going forward now. Um, I'm disappointed. I am not pleased. But the team has a, has a game in like two two days. So we still have to rally the troops, get into their head uh, mentally, just to ensure that they are refueled, refocused, uh, get the job done. Because they can beat this Costa Rica team. It's just that we have to go out and play a disciplined type of football um, and all these things. You know what I mean? So let's throw our support behind the, 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 the team people, even though we are disappointed. I mean, I'm supporting the players wholeheartedly. So definitely, I would love for you to do the same. Because there's still hope that the pack is not 
extensively far away from us still close you know what i mean so let's see how that one goes thanks people for tuning in really appreciate the, the, the love and support big up yourself peace out